Hi, how are you doing? Hope you are well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a great day. Uh, got back a couple of days ago from uh, our holidays. Me and Special K have been away for a week. Got loads of um, photos, including this one of uh, a little bit of sand and sea. And I thought, you know what? It might be nice to try and do something I've never done before. And that's uh, an abstract. How did I get on with it? I wonder uh, why am I showing you the photo and not the painting? Let's get into the video and find out. Well, I'm back off my holidays. I'm really excited about getting going. I'm in Krita and I am going to um, import an image as, as a reference or a source. I'm going to click on this little pin here, choose tool options, click on the plus icon. It's all a bit of a faff, isn't it? I know. Go down to where I know this image is. Uh, locate that. I should have done this before, really. Um, choose the image that I'm going to do, pop that open, and there we go. I'm going to do a bit of an abstract, I think. Just moving that to one side and size it pretty much the same as my um, image that I'm going to be working on. Put that at the side of it there. And then once I've done that, I need to click back on the brush tool and choose brush presets here I can zoom in I've got my reference image nice and big and I've got the uh, canvas nice and big too what can possibly go wrong um, I'm working with digital atelier pastels today you can get them on the critter website and I'm also using um, the um, smart background see so we've got a nice texture on that uh, and this is the pastel one these are free i'll uh, put a link in the description where you can get those from if you haven't seen them before i just want to um adjust the background color so i'm going to select that press f3 uh, that brings up a palette i'll just drag that over here so you can see it and then i can choose a different palette and i think i'm going to go something like this i i always like a nice bright ground when I'm working with pastels or digital pastels, so that's what I'm going with here. I click that, and then it says these are the area, these are the layers you need to be uh, working in. So I'm going to go in with an undercolor. Am I going to sketch? No, of course not. I'm just going to go wade straight in and see if I can come up with something a bit abstract. I don't normally do abstract. It might be abstract. It might end up looking something like this who knows but look at all these lovely shadows we've got to go up so i'm actually using my screen today as uh, not a cintiq but um an intuos pro in other words i've uh, toggled the dis the display for the um pen and i'm using it i'm using my uh, cintiq just as a, a pad to sort of just slide my pen over uh, but I'm actually looking at a um, a much larger screen and uh, I just feel like working that way today. No other reason than that. And I've, I'm, I'm just messing about really. <laughs> Colour wise, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm just sort of feeling my way, wondering where we're going to go with this. Uh, this is going to be a pastel drawing. I'm using a square key. I want big, big marks, you know, like that, where I'm thinking, um, I'm using the side of the pastel and I want some darks in there as well let that blue glow through uh, the brush I'm using is the DA pastels for basic that seems to be uh, quite nice the nice thing about putting your um, source image the same size as your canvas it's really easy to um, judge scale so you don't need to worry about drawing things in too much. So this might be my very first ever um, abstract painting I've ever done. I've never really worked with abstracts before. 
so it'll be interesting to see this I'm doing this obviously because it's it reminds me of my holidays that we've just been on uh, me and special K we went to a place called Weymouth in the UK obviously and um, this I, I've not been there for uh, 40 years was the last time I was there couldn't remember a lot about it because I was a young lad last time I went uh, well I'll say a young lad I'm a young man I suppose and um, drinking a lot of beer and stuff so uh, vague memories of it but it is it's quite a it is a seaside town I guess but it's got a key uh, with boats and old um, sort of fishing cottages and uh, the uh, Arbor Master's house and all that kind of stuff going off and it, you feel like um, you're, you're in a set of uh, Poldark or um, Charles Dickens's um, what's it called the thing with blind pewing and all that going off you know um, and there's a pub called the old black dog which is very much like you know the sort of pirate theme going off so you've got that which was uh, really nice and then you've got um, you've got an area which is just beach uh, a long stretch of beach and a promenade uh, very sort of Victorian with um, deck chairs on the prom for people to sit in old people like myself to sit in and ease their uh, aching legs and stuff and and then uh, there's another area sort of shopping area which is just like long thin streets where they are where the roads are quite narrow and there's sort of uh, shops with vintage things in and stuff so yeah it was a it was a, a nice place i enjoyed it a good had a good rest we did I read about three, well, not about, I read three books while I was there for the week. And um, holding the control key now, just to change the color, pick off that, pick up that brown that was in there. This is gonna be an abstract, but I kind of want you to feel the beach and the sand, this dark sand, wet sand and stuff. But um, I also want it to, you know, you could, you could think it was perhaps something else. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it takes me, where the journey takes me. I've got no idea. Square brackets, size the brush. What that is. Like a bit of old seaweed, gnarly seaweed or something. I'm tempted to, I'm wanting to put purples in here. Um, I don't necessarily see them. Yeah, the sort of green blue background, that's um, blue and orange are uh, complementary to each other. And, um, you know, sort of opposite on the colour wheel. If we look at this, look, we've got like blue there, then opposite we've got orange. So they're complementary. And you say, well, that's brown. Well, yeah, but brown is orange, isn't it? You know, I've got orange there. So I'm in the orange spectrum uh, or band. And then I move down in, I've got browns. And then, but it's not quite complementary because I should really be sort of there which would be more sort of those ready colors perhaps if I was really thinking about being complimentary. So it's a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit complimentary, but I can use that, I suppose, in these stones down there a bit. You know, it's not precise science, is it? Oh, that is too red. I don't want it that red to be honest. So soften that. I'm still only just using this one brush with the, the digital atelier. This would be a really cool exercise to try and do it like a, a photo realistic um, painting, but you know that ain't gonna happen with me, is it?
pretty much got my fingers on the square brackets key and the control key all the time they're the they're the ones I, I I'm using all the while control key to set, select that color look and so I think that's pretty much the uh, like the underpainting done I guess we can now go in and uh, start looking at the next layer where it says paint sketch um, you could do this all on one layer to be honest absolutely do it all on one layer but I'm thinking that um, let, let's use these layers here in this uh, smart texture pack how they're meant to be used shall we so I will swap over in a minute, I promise. Right, that's kind of give me something. That's, uh, I'm just going to tweak it a bit. Just want to take that out there a little bit. Like that. And there. Doesn't really matter, does it, if I'm saying this is abstract. Let's go on to this. Paint sketch here. I will, um, no doubt, at some point be. Um, let's change to this impact grain. I will be putting more colours in shortly. This brush kind of twists on its own and it gives you unique patterns which is quite nice i got that quite low haven't i actually that's uh control key i don't normally use this as quite a, a big size so you sort of take your life into your own hands with this with this pastel a bit because you don't really know what you're going to get quite interesting though do I need to sort of flesh some of these stones out and things or do I get, keep going what shall I do I'm using the colour palette today I'm not messing about uh, sorry i'm using the color wheel today i'm not messing about with palettes not that there's anything wrong with palettes of course you know they're all good but uh i feel um i like to use the color wheel although i was amazed at how many people um on the last video i did commented that um they preferred the one that was done on the color wheel uh, on the palette sorry um so just shows what my choice of colour isn't as good as I thought it was. <laughs> so while I was on holidays my car died as well. Um my uh daughter's partner he's got a car, he has to travel to work for about an hour's drive every day. And his car had died, my daughter's car had died, they'd all, um, so they got two cars that were, um, you couldn't drive, so I said, okay, I'm on holiday for a week, borrow mine, put them on the insurance, and uh, he borrowed it, and the first day on his way to work, it broke down, because it was a bit of a nail, because uh, I'm not, like, massive into cars and things, they, they, they're not really, um, they're not important to me to be honest um so anyway it broke down and he's ringing me up steve does your car, car normally do this what it's a stop <laughs> so that's it i now i'm carless i'm looking for a new car um hopefully it won't take me too long to, sort, to get one i'm liking these little bubbles but i don't want them to be bubbles
Shall I introduce a new colour? Shall we get some purple in here? Just because, just because we can. You know what? I'm not. I don't think it's going to work actually. I think I'm going to stick with the uh, teals and the greens and that kind of thing. I think that's where we need to be going. Yeah, but. I can't see any of that in um, this source photo, nothing at all. But um, it's where I want to, where I want to take it. This might become the focal point. I don't know. This this uh, brush is very interesting. That it's kind of doing its own thing. It's not really letting me dictate. I go with it. So. Um, just going to change that. That's... It's really easy to sort of look at something. You think you've got it right. I know it's a said it's an abstract but uh, I kind of want it to be have some resemblance in there you think you've got it right and then you realize I've totally got the colors wrong totally uh, I'm gonna go in with this pastel wibbly line wibbly I like just because I like the name wibbly wibbly lines Yeah, I like this. This one's nice. The brush a bit bigger and just put some wibbly lines in there. Uh, in wibbly lines. It's kind of much more like sketching than painting this is. And I know this kind of size is all wrong and everything, but you know what? It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. It's not what, what I'm trying to achieve. I'm not trying to uh, get something that looks realistic. I'm going for this impressionist feel. I've almost got rid of all of that teal, but I'll, I will put some back in again. Some squiggly lines. Pick the brown up. Some brown squiggly lines in. Maybe just colour in a bit of that. Centre of the bubbles. Like that. Maybe I should just do a, a video on how to draw the bubbles realistically. I bet you that would get way more. If I did a video on how to paint bubbles, I bet you that would get way more views than just painting something abstract like this or impressionist. But you know what? I just, it just, just wouldn't, um, I don't think I'd enjoy it. I, I don't. It's, it's not not kind of where I'm at. And uh, this channel isn't about getting millions of views. <laughs> Thank goodness, because if it was, I would be uh, I would be crying. Because I certainly don't get uh, that many. But I do appreciate everybody that does actually watch the videos and comments and you know all that good stuff
So I had a good response from the uh, live live stream I did. I'm going to do more. Uh, I, I thought that was really good. Um, I'm just sort of easing myself back into it this week after the holiday. Uh, so maybe um, next week I'll think about it. But I will. I'll try and. Um, you know um actually publicize it a little bit beforehand saying that i'm going to do it so people are aware uh, it's not a good idea is it just to jump online and uh and say here i am i'm doing the live <laughs> but i got more people online than i, I thought uh so thanks for everybody that uh came and said hello which appreciated. All this foam. I'm liking the look of it so far. I am. It's uh, looking all right. I took a lot of pictures. I took a, a couple of cameras with me. And to be honest with you, I didn't, you know, on my holidays, and I didn't, didn't use the cameras at all. Everything I took was on my phone. Uh, it just seemed like an asshole to carry cameras around. Um, you know what with that and the all the towels and the beach stuff and everything that I had to carry um, it just sort of didn't seem uh, uh, something I wanted to do so I think you can see here that you don't need a Cintiq, you don't need a touch screen to be able to paint if your budget doesn't stretch to a, a, a touch screen. You know, you'd go for the tablet and um, I think you do need a tablet as a minimum to do digital painting. And I like working from tablets. I like, uh, I think if I had a massive touch screen, like, you know, a 24 inch or, or bigger, then yeah, I would um, be using the touch screen more, but 16 inch, you still can't see the detail unless you're zooming in. And I like to see the old thing, all of it, you know, the old painting that you're doing. Uh, quite like that, Just sort of looking back. I can see some blue actually, see some blue uh, in here. I just pop that in a little bit. Just sort of a scuff mark of blue. Yeah, this number two pastel wibbly lines, I like this. It does give you a very organic uh, feel to the painting. Um, it said that you know you haven't got a massive amount of control again so you've got you've got, you've got to sort of um out for happy accidents but they do seem to be coming along quite regular can you hear that so i'm just gonna pause the video shut the door because somebody's cutting up wood outside okay i am back and uh what color i've got oh, okay brown that's better. Cut all that noise out. It was doing me head in, man. Strat Beach. brush is absolutely maxed out and there's no lag on it so that's pretty good
Right, let's put some shells in, shall we? Let's see what we can do in the way of abstract shells. Um, I don't know whether to change pastels. I'm going to go for the three legacy. Okay, that's uh, too big. If I look at the, I'm I'm painting this shell here. I'm doing it way too big. Obviously, let's um, sink it down a bit. And I'm looking at the shadows and things, I'm just popping them in. And then it's got this square bracket to change the brush size all the time, and it's got sort of a, a rim round it. Like that. That's kind of one. Then we've got one that's a slightly bluer colour. Oh. Here, like that. Put that there. Change the brush size a bit. Put that in. Bit of an orange cast over the top of it. This has got like a rim light around it as well. So I'll pick that same colour up using the control key. And there. But then we've got like this shadow underneath it, a bit blue grey. So I'm sort of drifting into uh, semi realism here. Put that little bit of that in there as well. I'm not this because I'm not I've never ever done um an impressionist not an impressionist abstract piece before so I'm struggling in the same way people that have you know paint very tight pictures and then try and do an impressionist piece um struggle that I'm struggling to um stay just abstract and I'm wanting to put things in that are familiar and I'm, I know I'm doing it because I'm telling you about it at the same time but I can't help myself I can't help myself <laughs> it's just um, where I'm getting it just seems to be what I'm doing and I can't stop it so I'm just going to keep going with the flow and see where it takes me uh oops uh this um that's, uh, if i press um the front button or the bottom button of the um stylus i can get a color picker up there perhaps i should be doing that really what color have i got okay there. i could zoom in here if i wanted but you know you know if you paint on a canvas you can't zoom in you can't unless um unless you've got a magnifying glass and i've done that on on drawings before i have but generally you can't zoom in so i don't like i don't like to be zooming in because it, um it's not something you can do if you're painting in a traditional way uh, you, you just can't do it so then we can have a few sort of flicks of shells. We've got sort of one there like that. Just pop in a little flick. And another one there. But it's got an highlight around it so I can pen really small. Say pen, I mean stylus. And uh, 
you know, I know, I know the aspect, right? The uh, I'm not got the sizes exactly right and all of that kind of game, but I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. It's not important. Not for this, unless your exercise was to reproduce something, you know, you wanted to practice drawing accurately, then yeah, then you would need to be taking care. But that's not what I'm uh, about today, is it? It's not what I'm about at all. I'm just enjoying painting. The joy of painting, and it is because, you know, I've been away for a week and I haven't touched anything. I haven't picked it. I took sketchbooks with me. I didn't do anything, nothing at all. Just lounged on the beach, read books. Um, got, got stressed out a bit at how people seem to think that the pandemic is over and we're gathering in, in uh, what can only be described as pits of COVID spreading their love and joy. Um, which I avoided like the plague, because you know it's still it's still around, isn't it? It's still there. It's not it's not gone away yet. And um, I was amazed at how many people just threw caution to the wind. And there was literally, I say a pit. I was leaning over a bridge that that crossed the uh, river as it flowed into the sea. And below it was a uh, the key. Uh, side of the key where um, there was a cordoned off area where they'd got um, like a, a big truck with was set up as a stage with musicians on it, bands playing and that and all around it was, it um, in front of it was rammed, absolutely rammed with people um, drinking beer and not wearing masks or taking any precautions at all I just thought, man, that's, that's absolutely crazy. Um, we haven't got a mask mandate in the UK anymore. Uh, you don't have to wear masks. There still are lots of people that wear them. I, I, I choose to wear to wear one. I know everybody, you know, I wouldn't, I'm not going to have an argument with anybody that doesn't wear them. Um, but it just seems dangerous. It just seems dangerous, that's all I'm saying. So we was looking for nice little secluded spots, especially on the beach, where I took uh, this picture. Um, we was pretty much on our own, which was absolutely uh, fantastic. Um, Do like to be uh, secluded when we go on holiday. It's just kind of that that vibe you get, you know. Um, I'm a very solitary person anyway. I I would spend most of my days uh, by myself, very happily, not seeing anybody, not talking to anybody. Um, I've gone before I met Special K. I would go weeks literally weeks without seeing people uh, or, you know, one week to the next. And I'd be very happy about that. Uh, and if I get people around me, I start to stress out after a little while. Um, you know, after a few days, I'd start thinking, I can't go with this, there's too many people. L leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone, I want to be on my own. Um, Okay, keep that nice. Oh, my looks alright. I'm quite quite chuffed with that that one. They should all have a little bit of. Um, they need anchoring down these stones, basically. Uh, so let's go for kind of a dark colour. Um, wipe the brush size up a bit.
put a little bit of shadow there. Maybe a lighter side as well. Be okay. Like that. Uh, we can we'll definitely put some dark there. Like that. Okay. I'm beginning to think that I am definitely um, an impressionist, not an abstract painter. square brackets um, one thing that's happening and I didn't to be honest I'm not going to take credit for this and, and say it, I planned it but uh, now I see it I'm really happy that it's working that way is that can you see these stones are form kind of forming a diagonal that are going to come around here and I can see that we're going to be able to sort of lead you up there across there and round into this area and put these stones in here so we're getting this sort of path that you can follow which is always nice um i'm kind of liking these rays these crazy are working really nice uh, shadow and that see it just makes that stone sit this other one this is sort of buried in the sand so we kind of want to highlight this side of it like that a bit maybe and that looks a little bit more like that sort of sat inside the sand I can see me painting this for um, quite a while so I'm, I'm actually going to speed this up because the video um, it's got to be half an hour long already and I don't want to rush it but I'd, you know I don't want the video to be like four hours long so I'm going to um, I'm going to um, do a little bit of a Fast forward right now and I'll be back shortly.
Okay, I think this bit needs a bit of uh, explaining. What I'm doing now, I'm sort of doing the this sandy ridge bit here, and I'm just building up layers of lighter coloured sand, um, almost, almost white, but not white, and putting in sort of thin lines. I built up some dark layers, and now I'm going over and just putting in some thin lines to sort of indicate where the um, light is it these is it this sand and I have to say at this point it's sort of I suppose it is a, it is a bit abstract but we're wandering away a marvelous and now a, a, um, some sort of alarm car alarm or something it's gone off marvelous uh, oh that's good it stopped um, so I'm just putting these highlights in of where I, I think the light's catching the sand uh, before I come in to put the, the final bunch of shells in at the bottom. So um, I've really, really enjoyed doing this. I, I think the freedom of, of not worrying about accuracy and measuring or anything like that because at the end of the day you know, people will look at this and there's nothing to measure it against you know it's not a face that has to be accurate or anything like that or even a tree to a certain extent you know this is uh, people aren't familiar with with these patterns uh, so much I like this. We've got this bit around here that to me looks a bit like a bit of an highlight, just sort of there. That's it. I think, uh, I think I may have gone a little bit too light. Let's just um, knock it back a bit. I could actually use the blender. I have been using the blender a little bit use the finger but not um, a massive amount just to soften off a few of those just to lose I, I, in fact I, you know what I want to try the blending stick I'm going to be a bit more yeah that's, uh, that's cool give it that really does give it that um, pastel feel doesn't it Smudge that around a bit. Well, I guess that is abstract, quite abstract there, but uh, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Right, I think we can start working on the shells again now. And I might come back to that again in a bit. I could go into this paint here. 
I've done two layers. So now I'm going to stick on this layer. I'm not messing about too much. Uh, I do like this Pastel 3 Legacy. Brushes I've used, um, I use the Pastel 8 Impact for some of these big broad strokes. Um, sort of like that look. That's, that's got a lovely texture. So I, I, I've, I have been using that. And then basically, uh, uh, and I use the uh, Pastel 4 Basic. That is similar to the um, number three legacy but it leaves a bit more of a texture i'll show you show you if i paint this stone in uh, that's about the right color i think actually a bit lighter paint this sort of light stone in here uh, let's see it needs to be here actually one stone two stone three stone okay that's it there more color in it you see that texture and that lovely texture to it quite like that so i start off painting them fairly flat really And then I um, the highlights and shadows. Sometimes I put the shadows in first. Sometimes I put the highlights in first. I suppose really I should sort of stick to one formula. Uh, I don't. I just go with whatever I'm looking at and what feels right. Now I've got these stones in. I think I need to probably just adjust the um, sand above it shadows are always dead important really important shadows see that nice texture you don't get that with the legacy brush so much So it really does give that lovely pastel feel. I have to say, you know what? I'm going to um, say something now that people might disagree with or, or not. I think Critter has got the best pastel engine of any painting app on the market. I don't care what it is. I haven't painted with anything but pastels as good as this so even if you say you bought rebel and you use it for the watercolors and the oils and what have you i would still suggest that you need critter in your toolkit if you want to do pastels uh, and i guess that's thanks to uh, ramon miranda or his digital atelier pastels they're not they're not free they don't and they don't sort of ship with um critter but i think they are uh, an essential part of the kit now i just wanted to get that kind of shadow in there and here but uh maybe on that there a bit Things change all the time, don't they, when you paint it? Sort of in line down there, but like that. Got the sort of stone peeking out of there. And then there's one there. they just magically appear in these stones it's 
So that's sort of those three. I like that. I kind of need to just um, put a few highlights on them just to make them pop a bit. So I'm going back. I, I like the legacy brush. If I just whack that up a bit, you'll see that it's a lot more solid. And I get a nicer line with that just to um, around those edges. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, I can't recommend the pastels in um, Gritter highly enough. They are, for me, and I do a lot of pastel painting, you know, with proper pastel, you know, proper pastels, traditional pastels. Um, and these come the closest to that experience. Don't get me wrong, the others are good. This is, be this is better. Hmm. I'm thinking about darks and lights, and I don't want my darkest darks here. Um, that could be a problem with fighting for um, your attention. So I'm just going to leave that like that, I think. And I might need to just darken this up a bit just here. It, Put a few darks in. You've the darkest darks. And smudge, smudge, smudge. Blend. abstract thing um I'm looking at this and i'm thinking let's oh i've still got a blending brush on let's bring this higher up in fact let's use this whoops going off there bring that up it just sort of all of this helps take your eye into there so I've just moved that a little bit, that's all. It's nice. Cool. Two squigglies. I should be using the wibbly wobbly line, shouldn't I? The wibbly lines brush. Let's get that in. There we go. A few more. That's it. Right, some shells here. I'm not going to put them all in, I don't think. But, you know, we'll see how we go. This isn't the brush to do that. Let's go back to that one. We've got kind of that one there, which is pretty much in the right place. This is a bit low, but sorry. Got this one here, shell here, big stone. This is going to anchor the old thing down. One here, like that. I've just sort of given myself some uh, basic shapes to 
work with really change the color a bit oops i keep pressing the wrong button control wrong key i mean control is the one i want get that yellow up got that yellow stone there already one there that will do They're the stones I think I'm going to put in. I um, don't know what I was doing there when I put them squigglies in. Take them out. Better. I can see now that we've got this dark colour um, shadow, I should say. Yeah. So it comes down into that a little bit. Set. And round there. And up here. And also see it sort of cutting into that. In a few shadows here. That's it. There we go, sort of going back to the abstract theme again, where I started. It'll be interesting to see how many views this pit, this video gets. It's definitely different. So I'm now putting color on these stones so i'm looking at the local color and i'm getting that in lighter that one and then we'll sort of do highlights and things later highlights and shadows after a little shell got this stone here that's got something going a bit warmer actually shell here on it Warmth here. these are all sort of um mixed together just put the, the key ones in i think Okay, let's think about shadows around them. So I'm now working just on the shadows around the, the uh, shells. I'm going to end up making up a few stones as well. Um, got which is what now? Let's uh, let's pick one that I know. That one, there, that kind of weird shape one. A bit like that. Some shadow underneath that. Go. 
and we've got this shadow here coming around that one right across there like that that's stone almost all in shadow so i'm i'm sort of drawing but filling in shadows at the same time and that helps me identify the the the, the chief stones as it were pebbles seashells all the good stuff Wants to be sand rather than shadow. I don't, I don't want to go too deep I want to go darker still but not I've got to be careful it's about as, as dark as I want to get it's in the uh, darkest bits of shadow Almost got like a, a line under there. Shadow there. Keep touching the button. Very annoying. Uh, I've got this shell sort of comes around there like that. This one. Uh, and that's filled in I'm proper concentrating now. Um, so I often say that, you know, sometimes I can't talk and paint at the same time. And quite a few of you have said, don't worry about the talking, Steve. Just, you know, do whatever you need to do. So thanks for that. I'm going to try not to talk just as much um, if, I, if I'm struggling concentrating. And all sorts of patterns and things on that. That's not. It's like that sweep over there, like I am painting with pastels. 
set of late. I'm forever changing the size of the brush um, and and changing the color continually click in between the control key and the square brackets and colors as well Now I'm just going to change the brush because I want to put a little bit more uh, thicker, thicker line on this. Whoops. Keep doing that. When I say thicker, I mean denser actually. Get that bit of detail on that shell there. Just helps me out a little bit. There, bit here just sitting back now and looking at it and thinking yeah that don't look too bad because when you sat right close up sometimes you know you um you're too close to it Pardon me. You're just too close to it, and um, oops, it's not till you sit back you think, yeah, you know what, that doesn't look too shabby. Well, this stone way too big. It only needs to be this big, really. This one. I'm just going to. Um, oops. Keep doing that shrink it down a little bit that, and then I can make this one I like this sort of openness of the um the grain that you can see in in the uh stones this just wants to be sand here let's just put some sand in that wants to should have been further along that way to be honest I'm feeling inclined to move it now though. Make this one just come that way a bit. That's it. Now let's go back to the uh, one with the... purple just because I can see it in the stone uh, I know I haven't got it much anywhere oh what's happened whoa that scared me man that scared me and I'm gonna speed it up again I think 
just because I want to um, crack on with these stones and uh, I, can, I can concentrate better if I'm not talking. Plus, this video is getting monstrously long, so I'll be back it, uh, shortly. I'm nearly finished I just want to what I want to do now is just go in and put a few sparks of um, color and things uh, little, just little marks that I think are gonna um, a little bit of magic just a mark here and there This is what's going to give it its vibrancy, I hope. These marks look random, but they're not exactly random. They're, I'm thinking a bit about where they go. On the edge of that shape there. Russet colour there. Just mark the, the odd shell and stone. Sit back, look. <sighs> Some of that teal in there.
guess this is pushing it back towards abstract. I think I'm trying I'm keeping the colour away from the edges if I can. Come there. I think that will do. Let's get it signed. I can use this colour, I guess. Oops. A little bit bigger. So my first ever attempt at an abstract, I guess if I was to um, hide the uh, source photo, go to the pin, move that out of the way, go back to brush, that back. And you don't know what the subject matter is. That is that could well be an abstract. I'm quite pleased with that. I've had a lot of fun uh, just messing around, playing with color and shapes and things, and uh, just getting back into it after my uh, holidays. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video, which was just um, a journey exploring the possibilities of. Um, whatever you know whatever i could uh, come up with really so um if you enjoyed the video a big thumbs up would be much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing I've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them all with you so don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane keep painting hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye Thank you.